What's popping upcoming artists? This is your boy Richie Beats. Welcome to the upcoming artist essentials. This week we'll be talking about five things you need to build a quality cheap studio for yourself. Let's get it. Okay guys, so let's face it. Professional studio time is pretty expensive for an upcoming artist because as an upcoming artist you must be here in the studio regularly so you can actually practice and get your sound perfect and I promise you with this type of package that I'm gonna give you now you're not gonna sacrifice on quality I mean Lil Wayne recorded in your home studio, Drake did, Tori Lanez did, a lot of people did so okay without wasting any time let's get into the first one which is a studio mic and the one that I recommend is the Audio Technica AT 2020. Despite its low price, this mic delivers very mature and believable sounds. I've used this mic before. It's perfect for vocals, singing, rapping, and instruments. So this is a very good investment. So this mic is not a bad. You better stop sleeping on it and go get it. So number two is an audio interface, and the one that I recommend is the Presonus Audio Box 96, which is perfect for home studio because it has two balanced TRS outputs for studio monitors, two inputs for mics and also one input for headphones. This is perfect because the package also comes with a, with a recording software, which is perfect because you ain't gotta go crack any software anyway, you just plug and play and win a Grammy. Number three, I actually have two things, but you know, you see why I have them because they actually go together. So it's recording headphones and studio monitors. So recording headphones, definitely you have to have them when you're recording music so that your music doesn't actually go inside the mic. And I recommend these Behringer's here, they're pretty dope, I've used them before, you know, if you use them properly with low volumes and not too loud, they're not gonna bleed into the mic. And if you wanna go the extra mile and get studio monitors, maybe just to reference how your music sounds, cause you know, music sounds better when it's coming off the speakers because you can feel the vibrations from the, from the speaker cones. And I actually recommend the M Audio's AV42s for that one. These are pretty nice. My friend has them. I've had them. They were like four inch woofers. They have so much bass and you know, it's just, they just sound so good. You know, it feels like the sound is coming from big monitors, but they're actually very small and actually very good. So check them out if you feel like you need them. You don't, need, you don't actually need them, but it's just something that you can add on to make, you know, your experience even better. Alright, so we add number four, the second last one, which is very important, and I'm gonna mention three things, you know, because this is what you're actually gonna use to get just your music sounding so clean. Is the reflection filter, pop filter, and a mic stand. So a reflection filter, it does what it says, it filters reflections. So it's the shield, you know, that you put around your mic. As you can hear in my room now, there's so much echo because I don't have my room is not tweeted, it's not soundproofed yet, you know what I'm saying? So you're gonna get all this cause your voice gonna bounce off the wall so once you have a reflection filter it actually filters all those reflections so now you're gonna get only your vocal the clean vocal into the mic which is what we need and the pop filter is the filter you put in front of the mic you know what i'm saying like now the mic that i'm using is no pop filter as you can hear when i'm saying pop in pinocchio you know what I'm saying? You can hear the pops are so harsh and we don't want that in music. So once you put a pop filter, you're going to eliminate all that. And the third one, which is uh, the 4.3 is the, what is it? The mic stand, you know, you definitely need that because you can't be recording music like this. So a mic stand, you just need it so you can connect your mic on it, you know, and you get these adjustable ones for pretty cheap. So yeah, and the fifth one is pretty simple, which is, uh, can you guys guess in the comment section what's the fifth one? <laughs> so the fifth one is actually a computer or a laptop a MacBook you know what I'm saying so any computer will work even the one that you have already definitely will work because the softwares that we're using for recording they don't actually demand too much RAM unless if you're gonna be mixing and mastering but then if you're just recording any PC will work you know so that's all for this episode hopefully this information will be available to you guys and I have the links down below for all the products that I've mentioned, you know, and you're probably asking yourself like, how am I gonna get all of this music mixed and mastered once I get your, like once you get your studio? Well, that's what I'm here for, but I call Reggie. <laughs> so I actually provide mixing and mastering services. My link is down below, you can check that out and please comment on what I should do next, you know, like, like how I can help you guys with more information, put it in the comment section below and I'm out, peace.